Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and as you can see, I'm not wearing my sunglasses. Um, one of you people commented you didn't want to see the sunglasses on anymore. Because the thing is more personal, you guys get to see my eyes and everything. Um, I wanted to talk about um, my spirituality, um, the lizard people. Now the thing is though, is that uh, I believe that just like the, the, the Archons, aliens, I believe that the, that the lizard people do not really exist. Um, I think that what it is is that just like I spoke in my other video about how we use the we um, um, digest the concepts of the fears and, and anxieties of our reality of the living form we use those things to try to uh, create a sense of uh, understanding of our world because um, in the grand scheme of things we really don't have anything to fear like as people we are infinite spirits um, that are inhabiting these bodies that we have nothing to fear we are the aliens we are the, the archons we are the the ghosts we are the monsters under the bed we are the Loch Ness monster we are the Yeti and the Bigfoot we are all of that we all are what we fear or what we think about uh, and um, the lizard people is a very um, I've seen some videos about it you know how they have like a they pause the video feed of Obama walking from you know from an interview or from a dinner or something like that and they pause it right at the moment where like it looks like from the because there, there, there's a video where they um, they pause it where he's coming out of somewhere and they're, they're taking video flashes camera flashes and they pause it right there to where it looks like it looks weird you know like it looks like his face is like his eye looks like it's like a lizard eye you know with a little slit you know uh, and it look kind of like a golden eye um, like a, like an iris and they do it to a lot of news anchors and they pause and what is just a bunch of uh, anxiety and fear you know um, there is nothing to fear you know we, we have nothing to fear we, we are the totality of what we think about we are the imagination so we don't have nothing to fear and the, the, the Archons are nothing more than a manifestation of the regurgitation of the concepts. We're like in a box, we're like in a, in a bubble and we're entrapped in the bubble and all we, all the knowledge that we know is within that bubble. And when you pass away, you then break free from that bubble and you gain all true knowledge and you become who you really are and you have no fear, you have no anxieties. You, you become uh, the reality of who you are, who you were always for a billion years, you know. You were a spirit that was, you know, living in these bodies over and over and over again. You're living in this body because you chose to do it, because you wanted to live in, um, in challenging situations, family situations. Living with a father that was um, uh, neglecting, which is a lot of... Um, a lot of people have, a lot of fathers have left children, abandoned families. I have had that problem too, where the father has left me and abandoned my mother and my brother and I, and, um, and you know, it was really bad. And he still sticks around, but you know, he's just like, you know, like, you know he's just like a, like a typical father that left the family, you know, like that, that, that old chestnut, you know. And, um, and, and the thing is though is that it, it, we, we are in, um, in, in basically in the bubble where we're uh, regurgitating and eating the concepts in which we, un we can comprehend because we chose to be in a enclosed bot in a closed mind where we can comprehend only a little bit. You know it's like um, we're learning, you know we're learning and, and uh, a lot of the family spirits that passed on do not step in because they know, that what they're doing is that well, what it is is like it's like um like when a scientist puts a mouse in a maze the scientist puts the mouse in the maze they let that mouse discover and find out how um, let it discover how to find its way out from the maze they don't step in they don't step in and try to pick the mouse and put it at the at the at the exit of the maze they let the mouse discover its own way out of the maze and that's what it is, is that the family members and the god and god doesn't step in because they're letting us they're observing and they're letting us discover our own path 
and um, our own enlightenment and discovery of self. That's what. That's why a lot of uh, um, people struggle and they have a lot of um, issues. And 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 um, the, the the thing is, I'm getting off a little bit. The the thing is, though, is that what it, what's really happening is that is that um, with the lizard and uh, fearing of ghosts and fearing of archons, all it is is that. It's like a maze. We're in a maze, psychological, emotional maze. We're trying to figure out what is going on, we're, how to get out. We're trying to, we're trying to discover ourselves, discover this thing. We think that, you know, we're we're in a form of amnesia. We don't have no memory of who we are from the past lives that we live, except if if we were to um, meditate, you know, and uh, and try to speak to the higher levels of different spirits and different um, past re relatives that passed on unless we reach out and you know meditate and all stuff and the thing is though is that the the, the, um, the archons it's a, it's a great concept it's a great concept just like the, ar the, the, the lizards it's a great concept just like the archons it's a great thing you know like it, it's re it's a great concept because it's like uh, we let we, we have to like we have these we think that um because we're thinking in terms of, um, of evolution. You know, scientists have found out that we're not from apes um, per se, we are from um, lizards. And so in a way, we are lizards. We are lizard people, and I believe that. I believe that new evolutionary um, theory that we are lizards and that um, we're, not, we're not really apes. And so like, it is a very intriguing, kind of contradicting thing that I'm trying to put out that that uh, we have to fear you know that we have to discover and all this stuff and that in a way these um, radical theorists on YouTube you know yes we are lizards in certain moments when you pause a photo you're gonna capture a person looking like a lizard like Obama or a news anchor speaking on the news looking like a lizard when you pause it right right at the right moment because of the uh, the gritty pixels the pixelation of the photo as you pause it and because of the, of, of the, the resolution and all this stuff you're gonna get different wacky kind of things as you pause the video you're gonna get different um, 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 looks at, at a person you know and it's all because of the pixelation the greatness and the resolution and how you pause it at the right moment and that right moment when you pause it's when you're gonna get that wacky look and 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 in a way Nothing is impossible because we're doing psychokinesis and telekinesis. So nothing is impossible. So maybe these theorists, these wacky theorists, maybe they're onto something. We are from lizards, but the lizards are not controlling things. Unless you consider the archons as lizards, which some people consider the archons as lizards, which is just another, you know, you, you, what it is, you, you, you're just consuming, consuming. You're in a confined space, a confined box which is what you chose to be in. So now you're trying to discover what the hell is going on. So that's just the whole thing. That's just the game, basically. In a nutshell, 90% of the game is discovering what the hell is going on. Where am I? What the hell is happening? You know, that's just, I'm sorry to say hell, but that's just basically the game in a nutshell. Like we're all in a confined space. We as we have lived, we're, we're walking around for eons or 100 years in heaven. And we, we chose to pick certain moments and we chose to pick to come back on earth so that we can learn and so we can, because we hunger for it, to, to, to rediscover ourselves, to lose ourselves, to lose ourselves, to rediscover ourselves, you know, in, in a different form, you know, with limitations and with troubles and, and anxieties. And so that's, that's what, um, that's where the manifestation of the archons and aliens come from. I mean, the archons and the lizards come from. Is that yes, there is, um, we are from lizards, but again, we have nothing to fear because we are that. We are that. We don't have nothing to fear because we are that which we think. You know, I'm sorry, but there probably is nothing really bad going on. There's probably no aliens controlling heaven or controlling the universe. There's probably nothing really bad, and you have nothing to fear. And um, it's just a game. You know, ninety percent of the game is just to forget who you are, be born, forget who you are, and rediscover, 
and die whenever you want to through suicide or through accident or through old age and come back to heaven and be like, well, that was a good game. I think I'll, because like death is retirement, it's vacation. Vacation of playing the game. When you die, you're stepping away from the chessboard. That's what you're doing. You're pressing pause on the controller and you're stepping away from the game. When you die, you're stepping away from the game. You know, you don't really die when you die. You exist. And I believe that. I really do. And uh, it's just a big game. There's nothing to fear. And the lizard people, um, they are real because of, of how God and how the gods or us created this game, you know, having evolution and uh, the, the chimps and the lizards be involved in it. But, but the lizards are not controlling anything. There's no archons controlling anything. But maybe I could be wrong. Who knows? But if there is, we can have an uprise, spiritual uprise, and combat them in some, some way. And this is Richard Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.